Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how uh, my trust issues have been taken to the next level as I double check the timing marks on my harmonic balancer. It's important to check that on harmonic balancers like this with a rubber ring, which is like almost all of them. <laughs> Um, because sometimes it can shift like the rubber inside can fail and the outside can move separately from the inside So that's just I've had a lot of timing issues in the past that you know We kind of know why but that just sort of double checks everything anyone that's doing an engine rebuild and that's reusing their old harmonic balancer Should probably double check the TDC mark. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today Here goes all right, so here is something interesting. I've got this little stopper, and in the center, there is a little pin that drops down, and it's gonna touch the top of my piston. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna turn the crankshaft until I touch the piston on both sides, and then I'm gonna mark zero on the crank right there. So then I'm gonna move it past where it goes down again, then, Lace this little contraption. This is just a head bolt with a bunch of washers and a socket just for a spacer. Okay, and now I've got the timing mark on the other side and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna rotate it until it hits again. There it is. So once again, I'm gonna mark this. Ooh, that's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. So the goal here is to check how accurate that point is, my timing point for top dead center by actually having the piston stop at an actual spot um, as opposed to just sort of eyeballing it whenever the piston sort of stops and floats at the top. So, so I've got a definite point and a definite point. So now I'm going to take it off and measure it and just verify that it's perfect. But you know, we can tell it already looks really, it looks really close, but it's just nice to know. So I went to go grab a micrometer. Danny does it without any sort of measuring device. So we're going to just divide it again. It's much easier to start with just a corner, a little line. A little line. Divide it by, right what do half. you know, folding in half. So brilliant. A little line right there. And now you have the exact line in the center. And it's the exact same thing you did, but we don't need a micrometer or anything. Not Look a, at that. That's that's, that's freaking perfect. Yes. That's so the with the micrometer, you, you were right. But if you didn't have anything, you could just use a piece of paper. paper. Okay. I knew, I knew that it's good. And I didn't waste a bunch of time chopping off the top third of it for nothing. You know, I walked in the room and was like, oh, this is cool. And I remember, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you made it, but this is this is one of a kind. It is one of a kind. Oh, it looks cool. It's it was, beautiful. Yes. I love it. So now I'm sure I've piqued your curiosity, so let me just show you how I've made it like this. So we're going to start with my Factory 7M harmonic balancer and... What I have right here is the French crank pulley and the previous owner had removed the AC from my Supra and I'm not I'm not talking like kindly disconnected things I'm talking like took a freaking hacksaw and like cut the lines of the AC so if I want to have AC ever again uh it would take quite a little bit of work so I'm just like eh, don't need it it's a convertible anyways so as a result there is this extra space right here that I'm not gonna be using this is where the belt goes for just the AC so what I did in the past it's always bothered me since 2015, it's always bothered me. So what I did in the past was I just painted it white. So it at least wasn't ugly, but it was still ugly. So, uh, I'm, I'm learning how to become a machinist today. So I will be cutting off this upper portion of the harmonic balancer. Pretty cool. It takes a while. So I'm cutting this off like 50,000 at a time. <laughs> So now, now that you've cut it, we're going to now true it. It is just like the brake blade. The glorified brake blade. The glorified brake blade. That looks beautiful. Look better than Toyota. <laughs> now what you're going to do is you're going to come in, even though the other side is, is slightly stepped, mm -hmm. we're going to come in now and just cut this inner one just slightly, just to give it a nice beautiful finish as well. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Just to give, this is more, this is cosmetics. It was already, <laughs> it was already cool, but now that it's perfectly parallel to all those things, to make it a lot easier on balancing, as you know, being a little off. I mean, oh yeah, oh. oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then right when you go past it, like right, go a little further, right and about right there. there. Now try to do, now go in and- Tempered edge. Oh, you got it on your own. That's awesome. Yes, exactly. Just okay, go just into go it and just bit. let it cut just very little. I'll put a nice little tamper on there. Now you're going you're to want to lay this to touch everything up. Oh man, I love a little attention to detail stuff. Oh, that looks so nice. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it was made that way from the factory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, awesome. Leave me a thumbs up or don't. <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye.